Hello, hello, hello to all of my wonderful Capricorns. This is Queen Amun Ra coming to you with a very special 11-1, November the 1st reading. I hope you all are having a great day today, Capricorns. I hope that you all charged your crystals up last night, your crystals and your gemstones were under that blue moon. Last night I tried to share a, a picture with you all on my um, community page about how the blue moon looked from where I am. <clears throat> And uh, I got a chance to charge up everything, and so I'm ready to go with this first of the month message. So the number one, I love this. So you notice that I don't have any oracle cards out here because I want to deal with only the number one for all of the readings um, for today. The only thing that's going to be different is each one of you all's message. <clears throat> but we know so many wonderful things about my Capricorns. I don't need to keep reiterating that. And, I'm, and I say that because... Um, you all know who you are, right? You know that you're loyal, you're hardworking, you're team players, you're ambitious, you're classy, you're responsible, you're self-disciplined, you have a lot of self-control, and that you are good managers of people, money, and time, right? So I don't have to reiterate that. You know who you are. Here's a word of caution for you all, Capricorns. Please don't confide in people who um, your spirit is telling you will try to turn that information against you and use it for you that's a message for somebody i don't know who's been telling their secrets to people that you know can't hold water and um who will turn around and use it against my capricorns let's get into your reading capricorns most High god in the universe please give me a special reading for my wonderful capricorns as it relates to all areas of their lives specifically in areas of money and wealth also in areas of power and intellect also in areas of spirituality and where they need to take action also in areas of creativity and emotions Yes. What information do we have from our wonderful Capricorns? Now, I know Capricorns, a lot of times, especially in the workplace, you all do not get the credit that you're due. You really, really don't. What I want you all to start doing, Capricorns, I know you all like to take the high road and be classy. And I'm going to tell you how you can continue taking the high road and be classy, but also get what you want. I need you all to start being more direct with people. Start asking questions. Why this and why that? Start asking questions via email, right? Um, check to see... Especially if you're having issues in the workplace, check to see if you live in a um, one-party consent state where you can start recording some conversations and start putting some people on blast. I mean, like really, really, and I'm talking about legally put people on blast, right? Because this is go time. Like I said, the number one represents a lot of wonderful things for you all. It represents hitting that reset button. It represents new beginnings. It represents originality. It represents courage, being very daring. It represents mediocrity frustrating you. It should frustrate you, and it does frustrate a hardworking Capricorn, right? Every, it re also represents everything being in alignment. It also represents being confident and fearless. Those are your natural gifts, right? So you all, by, de by, um, by default, your duality is divine feminine, right? It doesn't matter if you identify as a man or woman because we were spirits before we had these bodies, right? So it doesn't matter if you identify as a man or woman. You're divine feminine, so you are a nurturer. This now is about you giving yourself the nurturing that you've been giving everybody else. A lot of Capricorns will make excuses for other people. Well, that person is going through this and that person is going through that. Mm -mm. No. Hey, how about this? Putting you first at all times. Just like this number one, putting you first, Capricorn. Let's see what these cards have to say. Mm -hmm. Turning point for a lot of people. You all are sick and tired of dealing with these, <clears throat> these troubled spirits. Look at this. So you all have decided to take the high road. But guess what? Um, take the high road. And be a lot more direct. Look at this. This king of swords, he's not playing around. He's very direct. He's very clear. He's not playing around with these types of people right here with all these, all this internal conflict. These mean-spirited people who are just... And when I talk about... Now, when I talk about fire signs, when I'm talking about the Leo, the Aries, and Sagittarius, I'm talking about low-vibrating Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Because high-vibrating Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius wouldn't act like this. We're talking about low vibrating spirits who don't know their power, so they're threatened by yours, but not anymore because you're crystal clear. This is you getting in front of yourself and saying, listen, um, I'm not taking your BS anymore, your belief system, okay? Not the BS you guys were thinking about. <laughs> I'm talking about belief system. You all are being very crystal clear. And so it's a turning point for a lot of you all, right? You all are starting to apply for positions and, and jobs that... 
um, before. When I say you all are taking action, I mean like really, really tapping into your divine masculine energy. No longer are you sitting there just dealing with whatever people are dishing, you know, tossing your way. You have a lot of prospects your way. Lots of prospects. I want you all to remember that. Let me tell you something. Some people are troubled no matter what you do, no matter how nice you are. And so this is a turning point for some of you all. And you all are not looking back. So what I'm getting from this particular spread is that a lot of you all have decided to apply for new positions. Uh-huh. Unapologetically, just fearless. That's what I said. You all decided, okay, I'm going to hit the reset button. I'm going to try something different. I'm going to tap into my divine masculine energy. I'm going to go for what I deserve, right? You know that you're a star. You know that you shine bright. You've been shining bright in dark spaces this whole time. You are a star, Okay. The number one means star. It means that you stand out. You've been standing out in this, this chaotic, crazy, you know, environment for far too long. And now look at you. You decided, you know what? It's a turning point in my life. I'm, I'm just going to go for it. Time to hit. And I'm going to, time to create legacy wealth. Unapologetic. Also, the number one means that you are a natural leader who wants to leave a unique legacy. This is you, Capricorn. They started something now. Like, I'm telling you, before people were trying to apply pressure, trying to get you, you know, to just not be classy, to just, you know, just go down to the gutter with them. But you decided to rise above it and decided to speak out and start being very clear, crystal clear, sending very clear messages out. People got the message. They know Capricorn is no longer to be messed with. <clears throat> yep. And see, before I even pull this Hierophant card, yep. Before I even pull this Hierophant card, I'm telling you, what the message that I was getting is that a lot of people are having issues in their workplace. Um, but things are crystal clear for you now. Crystal clear. And look at you. New beginnings. Feeling great. And I've been getting some, some um, feedback from some of you all saying that you have new positions in the workplace. OMG. New positions in the workplace. Look at you just feeling great, the sun. You have tapped into your power. A lot of you all have decided, you know what, I'm going to start taking some nature walks. I'm going to start thinking about some things, how I'm going to approach these things. You all were living in fear. Like some of you all felt like you were bound by your age. Some of you all felt bound by your sex. Some of you all felt bound by all kinds of things, but that was all in your mind. When you decided to tap into your divine masculine energy and started taking action, you held your tongue, your willpower. You held your tongue to some things you could have said to some people. <laughs> oh, Capricorn, I know, okay? There's some things you could have said to a whole lot of people, but you said, mm -mm, I must take action instead. I'm going to hold my peace. I'm going to take action, and I'm going to move on up. Mm -hmm, just like the Jeffersons, and I'm moving on up. Money looking right, everything. High Priestess. Some stuff started coming to you all in a dream and in, in dreams. Remember we had this, we had the blue, we had the full blue moon last night. We had, this was like the second um, full moon for October last month. Cause I know we we're on the first today, but this was like the second, uh, second full moon in that month. And so a lot of revelations were coming through for you all. You were like, hold on, hold on, full stop, right? I need to create some legacy wealth and I'm trying to take the high road with these foals. Um, and instead of me losing it, I'm going to hold my peace and I'm going to redirect my energy. And that's what, that's what happened with you all. You all decided to redirect your energy. Um, in this place that was chaotic, people were jealous of you. They were just determined to mistreat you. You, you took the smart route, the smart route. You decided to redirect your energy and take action and now look at you winning. <laughs> that's what I have for you. You decided to put yourself first, right? That's what I have for you, Capricorn. Have a great day. Bye.